Single aprons versus double aprons on impact crushes. My name's Bert from Equip2. Today we're going to talk about the differences and the advantages and disadvantages of going for a single apron on an impact crusher and a double apron. So when we're talking aprons, we've got our impact here, with our blow bars, and then these are our aprons, and that's what the material breaks against. So what we find with double aprons is a lot more flexibility. As your rock comes in here, you've almost got your primary crushing chamber at the start, and then your second apron is like your secondary crushing chamber, which is then size in the product. So through here, we normally have a ratio of, if we're crushing a 40 mil, we'll have set that at about 45 to 50 mil, and this top one around about 180. So that's got a lot of flexibility that can move up to 300 mil. So in the likes of concrete, if there's some steel in there, that gives us some flexibility. And the same for the bottom, which is actually held by spring tension. But the advantage that we get with a double apron is exactly that, our primary chamber and secondary. So it takes a lot of pressure off the bottom apron. Now, if we just flip this over and we go to the single apron scenario, we're expecting the impact to, to almost grind the product rather than impact. So you get your impact zone in here and the material bouncing off, but we're trying to pull that down in one hot hit to this gap being 40 millimeters. So from our experience, what we've seen is we have an increase of wear, um, lower tonnage, and also higher fuel burn because there's so much more pressure on the impactor to actually break that material down rather than having that primary secondary scenario. So I trust that helps in your, you and your decision on what's gonna be best for you and your application. Um, any questions, please don't hesitate to call out to the team here at Equip2.